The Keto Box. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're gonna unbox our Keto Box, the last one, that, the latest one that came. Um, but we also have a couple of other things that were not in the box that have come to our house that I just thought you guys might wanna see too. So this is um, June's Keto Box for those who- Yeah, who so we're a little bit behind. It's okay though, cause we haven't opened it, so. So. <laughs> Whatever. The usual junk? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one says Legendary Foods. Tangy Ranch Seasoned Almonds. Ranch Seasoned? Oh, that sounds good, actually. Um, would you like to try them? I would, actually. Get over here. I mean, they're almonds with ranch flavoring on them, right? So I guess we're just kind of gonna try to see how good the ranch seasoning is. Yeah, you can't go wrong with almonds usually. It's very strong. It's kind of sweet though, that's kind of weird. <laughs> James is not good at getting things in his mouth. Yeah, the sweet I think is actually probably from the almond. Maybe. It's not my favorite. I don't, I'm not like particularly into that, but um. I don't like them. They are a nice contrast. They have a nice little um, savory, salty flavor. It is a total of five net carbs. Nope, sorry, that's really tall and that's why it's sweet. So it has four net carbs. It seems a lot for a little bag, but the flavor is good. I like them. Almonds typically have carbs in them, so. You're gonna love this, I think. So this is a uh, peanut brittle by, what's it called, Curly Girls? Yep, Curly Girl Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter Brittle, Peanut Brittle. Peanut brittle. It's even better. Um, I'm so half that package is five net carbs. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. But it's a pretty good size package though. They got the flavor on there. Do they? Mm-hmm. I don't know the texture. You get that nice crunch. Yeah, the texture's right. I'm kinda I don't know. I'm Wow. You make fun of me. Mm -hmm. Here, take a big piece. Alright, don't too. To show the camera. The texture's there, it looks right. Um, the flavor's good. That's it's, really good. Yeah, it's not quite as brittle as peanut butter brittle typically is, but yeah, it's, it's actually good. It's a little bit sticky. Mm -hmm. But I, for, what, for what you're getting, it's good. I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Good job, curly girls. <laughs> well, it's your turn. I will pick this one. Pull that. Cookie Keto Chocolate Chip. Got a little emergency sign there. <laughs> Five grams of protein, it says zero sugar and low net carbs. When you look at this one cookie has six net carbs. One cookie. Cookie soft bake, so maybe you'll want more than me. Awesome. I'll do that. Oh, you are. He knows that this is his job because I can't do it right. Anyways. And then he doesn't do it. I was just describing it, doing my gastro with me thing. Your what? Gastro together. Oh. You know, whole food thing. Texture is extremely important. It you're, looks nice. You're in a soft bake, so you get it. You don't like soft bake cookies? I do, but you're much more into it. It's like your thing. I can get them anyway. It don't bother me if it's hard or not. That's pretty good. What's the sweetener in this? Five bucks at the Rithertone. Allulose? Darn it. Lost five bucks. Reminds me of um, a Toll House. Yeah, That's it's fun. really good. Mm -hmm. I'm here for this. Yeah. Um, good job. <laughs> Manufacturer. True Foods Protein Puffs. This is the brick oven pizza flavor. It feels light as light as air. It's like really, really like it's like almost empty. It feels. Two carbs. Well, we are eating 90% air, I'm sure. I mean, is it just like cheese whisk? Oh, they're cheese balls. Okay. Cheese balls it is. They nailed the pizza flavor. <laughs> the texture's a little weird. I like the crunch. It's like a, chewy, like a cheese ball. No, keep chewing. Oh, it always tastes crunchy. It never kind of softens yeah, up. Yeah, kind of weird. Yeah. 
They're not my favorite, but I mean the flavor is really good. I just um, mm, texture wise, it's not my favorite. It reminds me of being um, the bread things you put on your salad. Cheese crisps. No, the crout croutons. Oh, same kind of texture as the croutons. Gotcha. The keto bar. Have we had that before? Uh, maybe. By ketology. 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 Anyways, the keto bar. Chocolate almond butter flavor. 14 grams of protein, 3 net carbs. Does contain sugar, but only 2 grams. Ooh, it's hard. It's your piece. Small. Yeah. I don't like it. It smells very bitter. The aftertaste is. It's like this weird. What's the sweetener? Weird mint aftertaste. Um. No. Whey protein isolate? No. Hydrosolate? Nope. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not good. Um, stevia extract and monk fruit extract. Oh god, I need like something to cleanse the palate with. Well, isn't there a drink in there? How do you know? I can see it. We already have the container open. <laughs> this is... Oh, I don't like... Okay. I don't traditionally like this brand, but... What can you say about it? Let's give it a try. It usually just tastes kind of weird. Why? Uh, I don't know. I can't really tell you why it tastes weird. Oh, it just tastes I weird. I should probably show this side too. It's the... Your bae? Strawberry blonde flavor. Caffeinated. A strawberry blonde. It's 160 milligrams of caffeine. But it's zero calories and zero sugar. How many carbs? Um, zero. It is sweetened zero with... Carbs. Stevia. Boosted by Yerba. I'm gonna take a second drink because that one kind of like cleared out my mouth from that chocolate stuff. Very sweet, very strawberry. Taste isn't that good. The smell is good. I like the smell. Taste is kind of just like carbonation. I don't really taste anything. No, you gotta take a second drink because the first drink was terrible, but it had to clear out that chocolate that was in my mouth. Not you don't really. get the strawberry? I get it a little bit, but not like strawberry. I actually don't mind it. I think it's pretty good. I oh. I think strawberry blonde is very accurate because I get that kind of like light, like white something flavor out of it, too. You get a white something flavor out of it. Yeah, yeah. Like a, like a cream from like a blonde coffee. Why are you acting like you don't know what I'm talking about? No, I'm just trying to be appropriate. All right, my turn. Can't open this one for the camera, y'all, because it is sugar-free, bakeable, chocolate fudge brownie mix. We've had this before. Have we? That particular one? By Pyre Mix, yeah. Pi Pure? Yeah, I don't know. I had the same problem pronouncing it before. That's why I know it. we've had this before. Is that the one that turned out terrible? Um, it's the one that I turned into something else. Remember your birthday cake? The brownie part that you liked of the oh. birthday cake? Oh, okay. I turned it into um, cake. Well, we got a restock. Yep. I cheated. We first made it with brownies. No, don't move! Oh. We first made it with brownies and as brownies, and it wasn't that good. And so I just kind of cheated and bumped up the eggs. Excuse me, the carbonation. And the brownies turned into a pretty good chocolate fudge cake. So, restock. Okay, y'all. What the hell? What the hell is right? <laughs> Can you just show them this? I. What the hell is this? An omelet bar. So, it's basically an omelet. Spinach and feta that doesn't need to be refrigerated, and it says it has no preservatives either. Made with Pete and Jerry's free-range eggs. You don't refrigerate it? No fridge, no preservatives, for real. I'm not eating that shit. 
You sure you want to try it right now? I am positive I don't want it's to try it. It's only two net carbs. You want to go microwave it, go ahead. Oh, you got to microwave it? Yeah. Microwave 18 to 26 seconds. I'll be right back. You go on to the next one. I'm scared, y'all. A bar from Batch. Okay. Let's just talk about this because I've had this plenty of times before. These are front porch pecans, pecans, pecans. And this is the sea salt flavor. I've had these before. They are phenomenal. Front porch does such a good job with their nuts. Um, they smell really good too. Um, oh my God. Their seasoning is just so good. So just like a stupid story while James is microwaving that. I did not know that pecans grew on trees. I have this friend and her parents are pecan farmers in Georgia. And we were talking one day and she's like, yeah, you can come, you know, hang out and we can go to my parents' house, we go to her parents' house. And I'm like, what's all these trees here? I thought they were like pecan farmers. I don't know, I think I thought they just grew out of the ground like this. Like a bush? Yeah. And they're like, they're the trees for the pecans. What are you talking about? Um, your girl didn't know. And I was way too old to not have known that. Oh, that looks rank. <laughs> so it's an omelet in a cup. That is not a nearly omelet color. I mean, it's probably preservatives. So it's it said no preservatives. No, well, it's no unnatural preservatives. No. It says no additive. That means only no. natural. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> so let's give it a shot. Kind of, yeah. All right, here's the corner piece of the omelet bar. I'm gonna give this a shot. Um, interesting smell. Not a bad smell, just interesting. Well, it doesn't taste like an omelet. <laughs> it um doesn't really taste like anything. But it has a smell. Kind of like, I mean, I know they say they don't have any preservatives, but it kind of smells like um, soy meat, like that fake meat that's made out of soy. I don't smell it. I'm not eating this. It has like a savory smell to it. That might be the feta, actually. Yeah, that's the feta. Um, texture wise, it's fine. Um, I don't really taste an omelet or know what I'm actually eating. But I, mean, I know what I mean based on the direction there are ingredients there, but in terms of I just saw this as it is, I couldn't tell you if it was an omelet or like a um, underdeveloped cake. <laughs> but there's no flavor. It's not bad when you swallow, you get kind of like that canned meat taste to it. Sorry. It's not like spam, but kind of like your regular generic little, um, not Vienna sausages, but some kind of generic meat that you get in a can. It's what it tastes like. It's not exceptional, it's not good. I would never buy it. Um, but it's not like I'm gagging or anything, it's fine. So if I, if I really need something and that's the only thing available, then. You know. I guess it would be a nifty thing that you could like take with you to like camping or something. Yeah, and that's what probably reminds me the most, like your, your canned meat food that you would take on a camping trip. Kind of like you need like one of those metal um, can openers to get into. Mm, yeah, <laughs> um, I'm super, super finicky with eggs. Um, so yeah, that's a, I'm not even gonna attempt it. Do you want some uh, pecans? They're really good. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Smell like pecans. They're they're very lightly, very no, not very lightly. They're very nicely sea salted. Yeah, they're good. They're yeah, bigger pecans. Yeah, I mean, I love front porch. I think they do a really good job with their seasonings. I'll say this: those are actually like one of the more fresher tasting ones. Like they just like brittle and fall apart when you chew them. Mm-hmm. Some you bite, you got in the grind your teeth into one of the bit. <laughs> That's these true. are like shattering, which is, I love that. So, Sensation. I think Front Porch are the people who actually own like the farm that these come from. So. so they don't like outsource it. Yeah. Mm, good. So they literally like just went in their backyard and they were like, shake, shake, shake. And this is the last one? Um, yes. Yes. Okay. We've gotten this plenty of times. It's high key. Instant cereal, um, hot cereal, to be more clear. 
It's kind of like their imitation oatmeal. It's just one net carb per serving, and it's made of mostly coconut and hemp seed. I feel like I don't like that. You feel like you don't like it? I can't remember, because remember we got two different brands at the this same time? This is the one you do like. That's the one I do like. It's the other one. I can't remember who makes it that you don't like. This Gianco, one, I think. Yeah, because this one doesn't require the addition of coconut um, oil, oh. which made it turn into this kind of gummy stuff. This one you just add water, and it tastes just like oatmeal, and it's fine. The other one that she's referring to, um, made by whoever she just said, they actually want you to put like a half cup or whatever of coconut oil and then cook it together and it turns into this sloppy kind of um, porridge looking thing. disgusting as well. So it these is. are pretty good. We tried this originally, was it a year ago or two years ago we went to Kyocon? Um, it was a year ago. A year ago at Kyocon we tried this live person from the company that was like had a representative and it was awesome. We ordered it right then and there. Or at least ordered it when we got home, something like that. We ordered it relatively soon because we enjoyed it. So this is good stuff. I think we Probably ordered right. a lot of stuff to have it shipped home so that it would be here when we got here. Hmm. Okay. So, um, Sabrina also was quite handy. Um, oh, you're going to go there? Yeah, digitally. She actually got, like, two orders of things that were, like, um, just for being the personality she is and open and talking to people. And it was impressive. Okay, so let me tell you what really happened because he's I don't know why he's being around the bush about this. Oh, these two things. You got this for being you and you got this for being So these three things were free. Okay. Okay, anyway. You're welcome. So the first thing that I got um, for free is this um, Hilo Snacks. It's um, it's kind of like Keto Farms, just like a little snack mix. Um, so this is a free sample. They wanted everyone to try They wanted me to try it. They wanted people to try it and give them feedback. It came in a while ago, and I've not been able to give them feedback yet. Cause not sponsored, by the way. Saving it. I'm trying to get one of the nuts out, too. We've been saving it for um, now. This is their is it Zesty Ranch flavor. And it's basically like cheese and nuts. Crispy Gouda cheese and pecans. Or pecans, if you want to be classy. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Did you get um, pecans with it? Mm -hmm. I like the crisp a lot more than the pecan mixture. Like when I first had the crisp by itself, awesome. I actually like these crispy balls more than the original other crispy balls because they actually um, condense properly when you chew them. But the nuts aren't bad with it. I actually would just totally love a mix of just the balls. It'd be perfect. So, some, so those are really good. Those are high low. And some ranchy balls. Okay. So tell this story. Oh my god. No, I'm gonna do the other one first. Okay. So one thing I got that is not actually food, but it was free. Um This is actually I didn't really do anything to get that. Go ahead. I didn't really do anything to get this, but I am we are subscribed to um the like Google media services. So like I have unlimited Google Play music and videos. Um and then um, it comes with commercial free YouTube. So like I have that subscription service, I've had it for a while. And the le like one time I logged into my YouTube to just like kind of, you know, cruise through my usual channels. And they're like, hey girl, do you want one of these for free? And I was like, no, not, I mean, what? But I mean, it's a mini, it's a mini Google Nest and they sent it to me for free. And, you know, I'm like, why not? It was even shipping for free. They tried to say that I was going to have to pay shipping, but it shipped for free too. And it shipped relatively fast. It came in like a week. So we have lots of Echo Dots around the house. Um, but I think, I don't know where I'm going to use that at. I don't know. Put it in the guest bedroom maybe? Or one of the bathrooms. Hmm. Because it connects to your Google Music. So like, that's kind of like, I mean, maybe I'll just put it next to the Amazon thing. Who cares, right? Yeah, because the Amazon thing likes to play Pandora and Amazon Prime mm -hmm. Music, but won't always play your Google Music, so then you get both worlds. Yeah. So that has nothing to do with food, but I just wanted to throw that in there. <laughs> the last thing that I got for free. So y'all know that Smart Snacks is changing their recipe for the um, peach rings. Um, and I try I, I i left a comment on their facebook page because the peach rings are perfect as they are please don't change the peach rings um and they messaged me 
<laughs> I'm sure I'm like telling all their business, right? They messaged me and we had a conversation about the peach rings and a new recipe and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And for my troubles, they offered to send me a bag. I was very confused when the box got here because it was gigantic, but I'm like, I guess I just wanted it to be safe. No, no. What actually happened is they sent me a case. They sent me a case, a full case of peach rings. <laughs> How many is in here? There's 12. 12 in this box. And then they're supposed to send you a follow-up one with the they're new They're gonna recipe. send me the new recipe as well to try. So, if there's ever been a sponsor of a video, it's Smart Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> And we love um, that brand, so it's like, we're not complaining. Yeah, these are like my all-time favorite candies. So, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by that. So, shout out to Smart Sweets. Um, and this is the old recipe, and I love the old recipe. In fact, I think it's time for me to eat one of these, because we have waited so long to open these. These came in, like, two weeks ago. Um, but we took a break from filming, so they've just been sitting here taunting me. Um... I can't even open it. Just rip it open. I can't. We're gonna store it in the closet anyway. I can't. Anyway, so <laughs> that is that. And I'm gonna use cut a top, but you can just give it. It's so much neater. So if you've not had these, they are delicious. Go ahead. Um, I mean, they're perfect just the way they are, but they're getting, hey, I'm sorry. That was mine. Oh, okay. You always eat all the candy. Get a whole bag. You have a whole several bags. <laughs> wow. That's really good though. Only three grams of sugar and what was that? Four net carbs? Mm -hmm. Five net carbs. So they're really good. I now, tried to limit myself to one a day. Now, the very last thing that I got. One pack. I, <laughs> I paid for. I paid full price for these. They're outrageously priced. I'm not even going to lie to you. But, did y'all know? Legendary Foods. We had some of their nuts in our keto box. They also make low-carb Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts are my freaking jam, y'all. I don't know how to tell you how much I love Pop-Tarts. <laughs> so of course your girl had to overpay for these just to get them. What was the price by Dare Shea? For 12, for 12 single Pop-Tarts. It's not ten even bucks. like, it's, oh it's 10? Oh for 10, <laughs> for 10 single Pop-Tarts. Cause it's not like actual Pop-Tarts where you get two of them in a package. Each package has one Pop-Tart in it. Now you don't use the scissors? So there's, well, cause you made fun of me last time. <laughs> so for 10 pop tarts, this was $25. So that's a $2.50 pop tart. Yes. When you can buy the cheap ones for like 99 cents for two or 69 cents. No, the, the sugary ones. Mm -hmm. The cheap ones. Yeah, but I can't eat the sugary ones. But the good news is they have my favorite freaking flavor. Oh, that looks like a... Can I show it you? looks like a janky Pop-Tart. So it looks like a Pop-Tart that you made at home. It kind of reminds me of the Pop-Tarts you find generically like a food line or some kind of grocery store like that. Oh, the Dollar Tree Pop-Tarts? Yeah, the kind of cheap ones that kind of like look like the real thing, but aren't quite there. So it's funny because the picture on the bag in the box shows it like a perfectly made Pop-Tart, and then this looks like they didn't really try. Let me do the side by side. It's just kind of like all over the place, <laughs> which I mean, okay, whatever. I get it. Um, it's fine. It just, what? Um, probably should toast this, but I'm not going to. We're just going to eat it plain because I eat Pop-Tarts plain sometimes too. Which one? I'll take that one. So the inside is very sparsely um, filled. It smells like cinnamon. It smells very strongly like cinnamon. A little rubbery. I was just gonna say the same thing. It's rubbery. Like a chewable rubbery, though. 
But you kind of get your teeth set in. Yeah, like it's not like a tire, but it's like gummy. Yeah. The flavor. Oh, the pastry itself. The flavor is really good, and I think it would be really good warmed up somehow, toasted or in the microwave. Um, I'm here for it. I don't like the price tag. No. Two dollars and fifty cents. I just had a dollar twenty-five of a pop tart. Yeah, no, the price tag is terrible, and I probably really won't be buying these again, um, unless I'm just like I have got to have a pop tart like now. Yeah. Um, One thing people don't know is whenever she's breathing, it's any kind of cold. Pop tart was always her like her chicken soup. Yeah, when I get sick, I have chicken Campbell's classic chicken noodle soup, brown sugar and cinnamon pop tarts, and um, uh, Minute Maid Kids orange juice. That is all that I will eat mm -hmm. when I have a cold. So maybe I'll buy that when you get sick. Yeah. yeah then you can for but this is come. not <laughs> waiting the mail for it to come. Can't nobody afford to be to be eating this all the time. If you really need a pop tart one day, you can have a pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did get one more thing in the mail. We have a subscription to Dang Bars. Just the peanut butter flavor. I think the peanut butter flavor is just like worlds above every other flavor that Dang makes. We once had this in a keto crate. I remember I was making the joke, Dang! It was so good. And yeah, these are awesome. I'm so, actually kind of stuffed from eating all the other stuff, so I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> yeah, really we don't, no, I don't need to eat one right now. But these are awesome. Totally worth the subscription thing. That's Sabrina set up, and I'm glad she did. She set that up, and she has that caramel, um, ice apple crisp on subscription. Sparkling too. ice, yeah, I get mm -hmm. sparkling ice apple crisp flavor on subscription as well. Yeah. So yeah, overall we had some really good food stuffs come in the mail, mm -hmm. um, and I loved it in this video because um, was since we decided to start eating the food as we're pulling it out, I started making this like a meal, <laughs> just a meal of random stuff. Yeah. So you got like a little sample of what do you call that in France, like a buffet. You don't get all you can eat, you just get like a sample of everything on the menu, on the table. I think there's like a special word for that. I just told you it's buffet. That's not a buffet. Mm -hmm. Literally, a smorgasbord of food. This is growing on me the more I drink it. You want to try one more time now that you don't have that chocolate flavor in your mouth anymore? I just like really think you would like it. I swear, you put this in your mouth like nine times. And it's like here's I take baby sips. This I don't, is why it's because I take baby Brady sips. It's takes 45 minutes. It's because I take baby sips. Sorry, I can't be like you and just guzzle it down my throat and not even put it in my flavor receptors. She does not know how to drink things. If y'all can give her some advice down below in the comments about how she can properly. No, hurl it's it because down her you throat. literally just pour it into your throat. You put it. Because I put it in your mouth and we'll buy like a 24 pack of soda, and I'll take her two days to drink one drink but you don't need to drink the whole 24 pack in one day i agree but you also don't need to take eight months to drink one 24 pack how long ago did you buy dr pepper which one of us has a degree in nutrition neither of us it's me nice try but i got a degree in math so I can which count. one of us is getting a second degree in nutrition i can count it's me i don't care if you can count that has nothing to do with nutrition trying to count yeah you count with carbs I know how to count carbs too because again I have a degree and a half in nutrition. And I can count objects. I should have like a degree in three quarters. Anyway. For food, she's always the expert. I'll give her that. Anyway. Well that's all everybody. We appreciate you stopping by, watching our channel, watching us eat food. Um I'm James. This is Sabrina. If you're new to the channel, please like, please subscribe. If you've been here for a while, just like it. Um, Leave a comment. We like comments. Yeah, we would love comments. Um, I like getting the email back on a new comment. <laughs> Sabrina definitely needs um, advice on drinking, so please advise up. And that's it. You got anything to say? Thanks for watching.